Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back into some more Anno 1800. As, uh, just to, if I could get the words out, just like the last episode, uh, I have got a really bad head cold. I cannot breathe. I've gone through two rolls of toilet paper today, blowing my nose, and I've popped so many pills, I'm not sure what planet I'm on. But I've got a lot to do. Uh, today is October 21st, and Cities Skylines 2 comes out in just a few days, which I will be covering heavily on the channel. So I'm doing a bunch of pre-recording so you guys don't have to be without your Anno content while I'm off being addicted to Cities Skylines. So with that, let's jump in. Now, you may notice things look a slightly different. I have been doing a little bit of just some minor decorating, adding in some canals and a few odds and ends. Uh, if you are not familiar with how I like to decorate, I am a big fan of Ugly is Pretty. I love the sewer canals. I just love them. I think they look neat. So I use them quite heavily in my builds. Uh, this right here, actually, I want to change this one, though. Instead of that, let's to maybe oh this probably won't work actually no that ain't gonna work never mind never mind you know what just let's pretend i didn't didn't just do that yeah let's do it like that i've got some connections there and there so yeah let's just leave it like that okay that looks that looks lovely can't put one in the middle. That's fine. That looks lovely right there. I, I love it. Uh, I could actually take that right there out and do that. It does have the little grates and stuff, so it kind of looks like it's all interconnected. Uh, I could also do this. Still looks like it's interconnected, and then I can put like a little decoration in the center. Uh, I don't know what this is not what I want to be doing, by the way, right now. Uh, I have like a bunch of other stuff I want to do, but now I'm I'm on a mission. I'm on a roll. I I'm on medication high, so I got to do things. Uh, what are we looking for? Yeah, clock tower with some seats right in the center. Haha, <laughs> that'll do. That'll do for now. Anyways, yeah, I've been doing a bit of rearranging and just some decorating. Uh, just kind of just kind of playing around with it for a little while today's goal however is i would like to go ahead and get to investors i typically don't try to start doing mass layouts and really slapping down the city until i have investors unlocked and all of their stuff going that way i have all the buildings unlocked that i need to start placing and make room for uh, so that is the goal today it should not take us too awful long uh we just need coffee electricity and light bulbs and of course spectacles yeah 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 so let's go ahead and kind of get started with some of that i've got a decent amount of stuff going up there i've got i do have two window factories okay i just wanted to be sure let's upgrade him okay let's go ahead and get some more oh that's right i was working on those guys let's go ahead and get ourselves some more engineers in here there we go okay out of timber now but that's okay we shall get more money is doing very well tourist yeah we're not gonna worry about the tourist stuff actually no you know what we will worry about the tourist stuff right at the moment well, I say the tourist stuff. We're not going to worry about the tourist stuff, but we are going to at least get ourselves a um, an, not the AI shipyard, a public mooring. I at least want to get the public mooring in so I can start generating some of that uh, nice income that it will give us from having it here on uh, Crown Falls. Oh, and as you can see, the harbor has changed. I've, I've worked on the harbor a little bit. All the fishing ports or fisheries, whatever these things are, are over here kind of by themselves now. And I've started working on a design for uh, for the harbor area. So we will get to that later on. I think I'm actually just going to put you down here for now. I think we're just going to put you right there for right now. Let's go to there. Oh, of course. Okay, there we go. I 
All right, so. Now to see if the journey is worth it. Seven sixty nine. Yeah, we're going to make a nice chunk of cash from the public mooring, so that's going to uh, even further boost our income right there. Let's give a quest. An enigma. What is the enigma for this one? I'm fastest on a full belly. It sounds like I'm going cheap. What am I? Uh, you are a sailmaker, I believe. Yep. I am a sailmaker. All right. So, yeah, tractors. We're not worrying about that at the moment. So they will be here in about five minutes. And then we can see how much money we're going to make from that. Should be a fairly good amount Let's go ahead and just start laying out some more roads here. And I want to start kind of keeping our canal system in in mind as we're laying things out. I'll leave that right there blank. Maybe put a little park or something right there later on. Okay, where are we at? Plenty of workers, plenty of engineers so far. Okay, coffee is ready, and I can buy coffee from her. It's a little pricey, but uh, for right now, it's probably the uh, easier way to go ahead and get that. So let's tell this right here to... Yeah, let's tell this right here to uh, buy coffee and unload the coffee. We're also going to, to tell it to discard the cargo. So any of these two right here that cannot be offloaded, you know what? You know what? I'm not going to do that. I take it back. I, I changed my mind completely and entirely. Uh, we are going to... Oh, look, some of the new... There's some. This is one of the skins from that picturesque city mod. Oh, that looks really nice. It really changes the look and feel of it. Um, let's see. Oh, I love that. There we go. Make it face the right way. Oh, that looks really nice. Oh, such a great little mod. It really just adds a little a little visual touch to the city. I really import I really enjoy that. Awesome. Uh yeah. So oh and a corner building. Oh, I love it. You can make it go that way or that way, it looks like. Although that way looks a little funky. Okay, so it goes this way. <laughs> I like it. That's a very nice little building. Um, I really appreciate a little visual uh, variety in my cities. So really, really like that. What else do we have? These are all standard ones. Standard, standard, standard. Okay, so there's that again. There's that corner building. Oh, I like that. And this flat, those two flat ones, and then back to the basics. Okay, cool. About three or four, about four new building types, four new building skins, rather. Very, very nice. I do, I do appreciate that kind of stuff. Okay, so what I want to consider is uh, let's go ahead and get up to seventeen fifty engineers, and then we will go back and start, you know, uh, backtracking on everything. Let's run down to Archie, pick up some goodies. I want to go ahead and grab. At least, oh, he has a cargo ship for sale. Uh, yeah, please. Take all of that. One second, guys. I've got to, uh, oh, I got to sneeze. <coughs> okay. Don't know how long I'll last. I am, I am dying. I have the plague over here and it is terrible. You know what? I am. A moron. Wait, where'd those ships go? Oh, there you are. Oh, wait, it's an oil tanker. <laughs> See, I have I had way too much. That's an oil tanker. Okay, whatever. I thought it was a cargo ship. A brain can't function. Oh, well, at least I have an oil tanker for when I need one. Uh, all right, let's go down to him. Uh, let's grab just all of this. Thank you. All right, let's go drop all that right there off so I can do some more upgrades. I know that I haven't like gone back and checked my productions, but we will get to that in just a bit. Uh, oil tanker, I guess just for right now, pop over here. Thank you. So we are making 20, almost 2,800. 
almost 2,800 from that. That is absolutely fantastic. And again, we're on low income. Don't forget, low income, only have 7,700 people, and I'm already making a balance of 7,300. Not too shabby. All right, you go over there. You go over there. My little fleet's right there. Cool. Okay, good. All right, slow down. Um, let's go ahead and let's upgrade some of these workers then. Okay. All right, that is far in excess of what we need. Good deal. We will have those engineers here in just a second. Or rather, we won't actually. Let's see, what do they want for lifestyle needs? Uh, they want soap, mezcal, and chocolate. Yeah, I do need two more, it looks like. And I just used up all my timber because I'm a dum dum. I hope y'all can't hear me sniffling. I am. I'm sniffling so bad right now. I'm. Tr I'm really trying not to sniffle into the mic. Uh, it is extremely difficult, though. It's really hard not to sniffle. I want to. I want to sniffle so bad. Don't really need a ten percent more workforce. Yeah, just uh, one more will do it. So let me uh, let me fast forward here for a second. I do have t timber and stuff being purchased, so there it is. Cool. All right, lovely. So all right, there is the light bulbs unlocked. Of course, we're not to the bank yet, but we'll get there. Not a big deal. Uh, let's see if we go and take a look under our population right here we have enough for 4700 engineers so we are doing rather well on all of that of course that does include if we had all of you know all the lifestyle needs supplied but which we're not going to do okay now that we have all of the engineers that we need to unlock all of that let's jump over here and see what we are lacking and what I can turn off at the moment. So it looks like I can turn off a sausage, a a bread, a sausage and a bread. I could turn that off for right now, it looks like. Let's jump up here and go do that. Let's uh, turn you off. Let's turn off you. Probably turn off another bread too. Just go ahead and turn off two breads. Yeah. Okay, turn those off. We don't need that anymore. Soap is still doing rather well. What would happen if I turned on soap consumption for our engineers? I just wonder. What do we get for it? Six coins and two extra engineers per house. That's not terrible. Let's see what it do. What what does it do? It's really not bad. It doesn't increase it a huge, huge amount. To be frank with you. It doesn't increase it by a lot. Um... I would actually be okay with going ahead and putting down another set of it because uh, we do have enough pigs. Yeah, we've got enough pigs to do that. So cool. And we will be electrifying stuff here shortly, so I'm not really concerned about it. Okay. And the only other thing we're low on now are fur coats. Oh, pocket watches. I need to disable the pocket watch. Well, do I want to? Um, you know what? I'm going to let them have it. I'm going to let them keep the pocket watches. Keep the pocket watches. Keep the rum. How much rum am I consuming? I need to take a look at that. Still at two, so it's fine. All right, cool. All right, how many fur coats do I have in storage? I've got 60 in storage right now. So with having 60 in storage, I'm not going to build another fur dealer. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh. 
you know what? I am temporarily, temporarily going to go ahead and build another one. Okay. So just for the second, uh, iron and wool. So still good on that. A little shy on the iron now. Kind of look and see where all the iron is at. Okay, copper, iron. Cool. All right, so go ahead and throw that in. That takes care of that problem. Now, we got to get into some of this expensive stuff right here. We got to start producing concrete. Got to start making some concrete. Uh, one quarry and one furnace will supply two concrete factories. Of course, they are rather costly. All right, so the, all three of them are kind of up in this area. There's iron, coal, zinc, limestone, copper, limestone. Okay. All right, let's come up here and go ahead and kind of connect some stuff up. Limestone, good deal. Let's see. I think. Well, I guess I don't need to overthink it too much. Get us another furnace in there and get us our first concrete factory going somewhere. Um, let's move the sail yard over here, maybe. Get us another concrete factory right there, I guess, for right now. Not exactly where I want it. want it right there yeah, want you right there I like that cool cool we are meeting all the elements to produce creation okay so concrete is up and running now iron is still good limestone is good steel is good awesome all right well now that that is up and running well, sort of. We gotta get it going. We will um, next get electricity up and running. Electricity is super, super critical to the success of your city. So I want to go ahead and get that going. Now, caveats to electricity. Ever since Docklands released a couple of years ago, there has been a bug on Crown Falls. It seems to only happen on Crown Falls where if you have oil power plants kind of scattered all over the place, and it seems to really happen if you put a fuel station somewhere on the island too, trains just break. They, they just break. They will basically go to like one or two power plants and ignore everything else. It's so broken and I hate it and I don't like fooling with it. So we're going to temporarily add in, uh, we'll probably just add in a single oil power plant somewhere in the city uh somewhere on the outskirts like maybe over here um you know or maybe like right here or something like that you know we'll just we'll add a single oil power plant into the city just to power up enough of the city to get investors going and to electrify some of our industries and that's going to be the only, I might add a second one, like up here somewhere. I just have two oil power plants and that's going to be the extent of it. What I'm going to do is I will be going to the Arctic to get up uh, Arctic gas and we will set up uh, gas power plants instead of oil power plants. That's just the way I like to do it. So I don't have to deal with possibly running into the bug with the oil power plants and the trains and all that kind of stuff. 
I'll have just a couple of temporary oil power plants here on the island, and then everything else will be supplied by gas. After that, all of the oil that I harvest from our oil wells up here, which will eventually get moved down here somewhere with the Research Institute, um, I'll use that oil to transfer off to other islands and use oil power on other islands. So that's that's kind of the plan as it stands right now. Okay, so all of that is... I think we were okay on everything, weren't we? Yeah, yeah we're good. We're super good on everything right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the sim run for a few. I'm going to let our stocks probably just max out again and get 250 of everything in stock and that way i could come back and we can start building so i will see you guys here in just a few after i get that up and running all right so i think we've got some building materials stocked up now i did build an extra um depot right here for a little more storage for our people i went ahead and i got our oil harbor going and I have electricity up and running uh, through down our oil power plant right here for the time being. Again, it will go away eventually, uh, but for right now it works in that spot just to give us enough power for a good chunk of our city right here in the center, as well as the majority of our industries are now pumping out at 200% down there. Our concrete factories, I shifted them over here because I found an item over at Eli, the general foreman. He's pretty good. He reduces workforce at brick factories and concrete factories by 60%, and he produces steel beams every five cycles. So that gives us some extra steel beams coming in. I still don't have a steelworks, guys. I still don't have one built. Uh, still don't need one right now. Doing just fine. Buying steel beams from Archie. Now I'm getting steel beams from my concrete factories. If I really wanted to, I could move my. Um, I need to be upgraded. I could move like my brick factories down there, but I don't really need to. So I'm fine. I'm fine without a steelworks at the moment. But I'm pretty good on all of our building materials. We still have a reasonable balance of 7,500. Got almost 3 million coins in the bank at the moment. So I'm ready to get some of our engineer stuff off the ground now. Uh, if we take a look at what we've got to have. <laughs> zero. One, two per minute, one per minute. Okay, so not too bad. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a spectacle factory online here. I want to put you, let's put you right there. He is electrified. I do want all of this stuff electrified, so I want to have it close by. Put that there. What's going on with this? There it goes. Okay, so that is in there. Now, it's time for brass. Uh, the brass smeltery is going to be a bit of a pain. It's a slightly larger building. I think huh, I'm going to have to move him again. I don't really care if he's electrified or not, to be quite honest with you. Uh, the sails are just an extra little bonus that I'm making right now. So, I'm not really concerned about them. However, I am concerned about the brass smeltery being electrified so we'll put that right there let's go ahead and give it some go to a little road on it let's do that number oh there we go sorry i keep having to pause because i'm sneezing and sniffling okay so the brass smeltery is up and running enough brass enough spectacle enough glass coming in now Spectacles are good, so that's going to have that need fulfilled. Awesome. It is rather expensive, but oh, goodness gracious me, look at that fire. Uh, we probably need some more fire stations. I, I don't really have many right now. Probably wouldn't hurt to have uh, a couple more. There's one right there, one there. Uh, let's get another one up here. There we go. Okay, a couple more fire stations to help out with all of this. Let us... Where did I put them? There they are. Okay, 
There's that one. There was one. Where was he at? There. He's right there in front of my face. Let's mobilize a few more of these guys. Try to help with that fire that's broken out in the city. It's okay. Not worried about it. Yeah, if we take a look at the Spectacle Factory, it's a 970. 243. That's kind of the big ones right now. 970. 243. So that's 1200. And how much do they pay us for those? 20. That's 1213. So it's 1213 for those two right there. Divide that by 20. I need 60 engineer homes to offset the cost of the thing of that. So I almost have enough. I could go ahead and upgrade a few more. I've got plenty of farmers at the moment. Upgrade a few more of our workers here. Upgrade some more of my artisans. Okay, upgrade some more farmers. There we go. Perfect. Now, that should give me 64, so that gives me a few extra. So that's going to offset the cost of that spectacle factory right there once they start getting that supply to them, so that's going to be helpful. Uh, light bulbs. Light bulbs are another one of those. It's a little costly. 725 and 1,000, but I do have... The, it's a 10% reduction in a oh, 3%. I'm sorry. It's a 3% reduction in maintenance costs. So it's not going to be exactly that amount, but you know, it's going to be close to a thousand seventeen. So 1725 roughly. We'll just go ahead, go off of 1725 and they give 28. So it's 60, 62 basically. Uh, and we'll need a little less than that. Uh, just because we do have the um, the three percent reduction right now, so we'll upgrade a couple more of these, just to give us a little extra oomph in our income, or in our uh, so seventy one. That's pretty decent right there. Just glance at this real quick. Still okay there. Still okay on the pocket. And the pocket watches are being made by our sewing machines, which is great for right now. So everything else looks dandy. Okay. So that's taken care of. So let's go ahead and get this right here going. Uh, we need the... Oh, I, I just realized. And I'm sure people were screaming at me. I don't have zinc and copper. <gasps> zinc. Copper. Zinc and copper. Yeah, we're a little shy on sand. How am I shy on sand? Oh, I know how I'm shy on sand. <laughs> Let's boost that output by 50% on the sand. Let's bump that up. Okay, the bread I probably should have left alone. Should have left the bread alone. Um, bump that back up. Really, it's just the farmers that are super unhappy. Because I'm not really giving them much of anything. If we take a look right here, working conditions are at uh, causing the minus 9%. It's just those three right there. I don't really care. The farmers won't be on this island for long, so... Not super concerned with him. Just glancing at everything, making sure it all looks good before I continue on. Yep, everything looks great. Okay, cool. Alright, so now we'll start getting spectacles. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot you had to have things to you know to make stuff. It's it's this mirror it's this weird concept where you know you have to build you, you have to have mines and stuff in order to to get products delivered to your cities and stuff. It's it's uh super crazy. Alright, and he is electrified too. That's awesome. I like the way this harbor's coming together. 
So that gives us some more sand right there. Cool. All right, let's find a lovely place for you. I think right there is looking rather tasty as a location. Put you right there. And I'm on slow again. You know, I say that, but at the same time, where does our power reach to? It doesn't reach very far back there. Okay, let's uh let's shift this around real quick. And I'll explain why here in just a second. Let's put that there. There we go. That. These buildings really go well together. They just kind of fit really well with each other. So we're going to have them next to, to one another like that. So that is good to go. Uh, glass is good. Sand is good for a long time. We're good on those now. Awesome. Okay, there's all of that right there taken care of for these guys. Probably just hit my desk. Sorry about that. So spectacles and light bulbs we've been taken care of. And the last thing we've got to have now is coffee. Gots to have some coffee for the peoples. Which I totally... That's a, that's a vibe that I feel at all times. I have my coffee right here with me. I probably need some hot tea. Honestly, though. Uh, now, just so everybody is aware, once I actually get, you know, everything unlocked, I'll probably do some rearranging on this industry because, you know, it is all, it all, it's all kind of crammed right here, but I kind of want it crammed in at the moment just because I only am only using a single power plant right now. So I kind of kind of keep all my industry crammed together, but I will spread things out and try to make it look a little bit nicer uh, later on. And we're going to upgrade all of these roads right here. There we go. All right, just upgrade all those brick roads. Awesome. How much extra... I've got enough. I can go ahead and turn him back on. Let's turn you back on up there. Yeah, you're fine now. Good. Good, good, good. All right, there is the brass smeltery producing some stuff. Spectacle factory is now, yeah, producing some spectacles. All is well with the world. All right, last but not least is the coffee situation. And I mentioned earlier that Kahina does sell coffee. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go buy a little bit of it from her. I'm also going to buy the chocolate. So to do that, I'm actually going to use another clipper. And I'm going to set up a another trade route. Or do I want or do I want to just upgrade this one to use a to use that? All right, where are you at? Okay, you're going down there to All right, pause for a second. Yeah, sneeze again. Okay. What I'm going to do is modify these routes. I'm going to take that ship off. We're going to add in a cargo ship. We're going to take that off. And I'm just going to change this now to only do these three things. Take care of all of that for us. Good deal. Okay. Now, you, I'm, I'm still going to use this ship on this trade route. However, what I'm going to do is make it just a long trade route to do a little bit of uh, buying and selling. We're going to pick up that, and we're going to pick up some soap. And we're going to uh, not buy. We're going to not buy more one. There. I'm just going to do that right there. A little bit of extra cash. Move that to the AI trade routes. So it's going to be a slower route, but it will allow me to... Um, 
do some trades and stuff right there. Speaking of which, I would like to go to Archie and see if I can't find... Oh, there's a Latine sale. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to go to Archie. Let's... Oh, you're already down here. Hold on one second. Okay, never mind. I couldn't find the specialist I was looking for. I was going to get a port dealer. Um, no, and there's also something that's... Um, trade prices. These are actually really good, too. Uh, this is a newer one. I don't remember him. Oh, he must be new. Uh, yeah, he comes from the Sumptuous Anniversary Exhibition. Okay, that's pretty cool. 10% trading prices and 80% cargo slowdown. Lovely little item. I, I really wanted to try to find a Drew Dernal. That way I can decrease the uh, cost of buying stuff from Eli. Uh, not Eli, but from Kahina. Uh, her or uh, Salima is also very good. Uh, instead of movement speed, you get faster loading speed on the ships. Uh, Itsuku is also really good. Cargo slowdown and trading prices. Same thing as Dr. Kerna. So literally the exact same specialist, just named differently. Dolores is okay. Not amazing. But anyways, yeah, I was looking for like a Drew Dernal or a Salima or something like that for the uh, trade ship that was going to be selling, that was going to be buying stuff. And then I was just looking for something for cargo speed, all that kind of stuff. Cargo slowdown speed for our schooner, but it's all good. All right, let's pop those together. All right, if we go pop a look into here. Yeah, we're not making many fur coats anymore, uh, in many excess fur coats. But once we get these guys up to engineers, or engineers, investors, I'll think I'll get it right here in a minute, guys, I promise. Then I'll start, I'll be using less fur coats, so we'll have some more to sell. Uh, but this right here is going to let me start, go ahead and get the coffee going without having to go to the new world. So that's going to be useful. Okay, cool. Oh, and the bank is unlocked. All right, so we're about to have some real money right there. About to get us some real money. Awesome. That means I'm going to want a Mr. Garrick pretty soon as well. Um, I'm going to want to start farming for Mr. Garrick. I think he also comes from the Grand Gallery. I hit pause too soon. Grand Gallery? <laughs> I hit pause by mistake. Yes, he does. You can get him right here for 70 tickets. You can get yourself a Mr. Garrick. He uh, supplies uh, pocket watches and jewelry if you have a bank. So I don't have enough tickets for him right now. Uh, hopefully very soon. No, please don't quit the game. Uh, but I can go buy him. I've got plenty of cash. It's just a matter of, you know, farming for him, basically, over at... No, not not that one. Uh, yeah, it's I, I don't really care. We'll pop over there. Anyways, at Eli's Harbor, I did grab a Sir Lewis Brinley for my Schnapps Distilleries. And specifically, it's going to be really for the Mezcal Bar. I'm going to want to do that. And then Michaela, the mining engineer, is going to be really good later on, too. Those are both going to be heading to Manoa. So let's go ahead and send those over. Over there. All right. All of that is supplied now. So that is good. Making less money somehow. I did buy several ships. So that's probably what happened. Whatever. Anyways. All right, cool. All of that has been supplied. Last but not least now is uh, I would like to actually get this. So let's make that happen. Oh, these are all um, I must be full full up on that. OK, that's cool. I know I have some other ships sitting around. Yeah, I got I got three frigates I have down here now. I want to send you up to Crown Falls. I am going to need another clipper here soon. All right, let's get that coffee supplied so I can get on to investors. There it comes. Do you have another clipper for sale? No, but you do have another ship of the line. 
and another oil tanker. I don't really need another ship of the line right now. Yeah, there we go. There's some cash right there from supplying the uh, the coffee need. So that's good. I was buying chocolate too, wasn't I? I was, and so let's go ahead and uh, they will give me 14 coins and two more engineers for having chocolate fulfilled. And they don't need much of it, so I can buy that from Kahina. And there's one of their lifestyle needs taken care of as well, so that's good. Other than that, I'm not really interested in supplying needs for all of these. Don't really need to. I could give them beef for some more workers, but eh. I'm not going to be stressing it on this island too awful much, as I've said before. Let's hear it then. Sure. 20 tallow. That's that's what you gave me. You gave me 20 tallow. Thank you for absolutely nothing. I'll take that. Yeah, let's go. Give me some extra. All right, it is time for investors. Voila. A page of big business. Sweet. Yeah, the embassy, that's the uh, AI shipyard thing. So there we go. We are now at investors, finally. Yes, hush, hush. What do you want? A memorial garden? Yeah, I'll throw that down real quick. Uh, forget where it's at. Let's see, Bo. Memorial statue. Oh God, where was it? There it is. I was like, I know what's in here somewhere. A big alcohol crate. Well, that's absolutely useless. Mobilize and some more. I probably want to go ahead and just. Oh well, I don't have enough. There is you at. Let me slow things down. I know I'm going like 90 miles an hour. So sorry. All right, it is bank time as well. The bank has a very large reach to it, so I am cool with putting it like you know way up here. And that's going to give us. Not, not lifestyle needs. Stop clicking on the wrong thing. Happiness. Happiness. Okay, that gives us a lot of cash right there. And also increases their happiness considerably. So that's really, really good. Alright, so there are our investors going. So we need to have 5,000 investors so we can get the steam carriages. And that's, again, like I have done in the past. In the next episode, we are going to be uh, basically just mass upgrading to 5,000 investors. Now, yes, I have had a couple who say, well, if you supply these, you'll get to 5,000 and you don't have to upgrade as many houses. That's that's true, yes. But I can go ahead and unlock everything and you don't get like, you get like two, two, like maybe three or four or something like that. You don't get a lot. So I'd rather just go ahead and get the 5,000 because I know I'm going to want that population anyways. Um, I, I want to get, you know, 10,000 investors for the uh, World's Fair and all that good stuff. So going ahead and upgrading everything until I have 5,000 investors is just, you know, it's you're, you're planning ahead anyways. So I might as well go ahead and do that. But we've got our first set of investors. Again, pop a quick peek over here and see how we are doing on everything. Everything's still looking fan-freaking-tastic on our consumer goods. No worries there. Making 12k now. Um, of course, money is all over the place. And still not even breached 10,000 population. So doing rather, rather well. Uh, we do have that right there unlocked already. So we already have a need for champagne and cigars. Uh, a members club. I'll go ahead and probably throw one of those down. We're going to go ahead and just disable the penny farthings. Uh, because I will be clipping penny farthings. I'll be clipping bicycle factories later on with trade unions on this island to start mass producing stuff for docklands. We're going to need it for the big populations we're going to have. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off. Not really worried about having that right there supplied. And these guys right here are super happy. And I think I'd feel comfortable going ahead and just turning off 
pocket watches to them for right now. That way my pocket watches are going to the investors who pay a lot more for it until I get myself a Mr. Garrick to slap right here into this town hall. So there is all of that. Everything's looking ship shape and awesome so far. Very happy with how it's coming along. We've got a little bit more. I could upgrade a few more of these guys, it looks like. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, and there's a new, somewhat unique investor home from the picturesque city pack. Very nice looking buildings right there. Absolutely love them. I do love some visual variety in my cities. Uh, so, yeah, next episode, we're going to be uh, jumping around and waiting. Uh, and Not jumping around and waiting. We're going to be jumping ahead and getting ourselves 5,000 investors, which I'll probably do off camera because I'm going to be sitting and waiting a whole lot. There's just going to be a lot of upgrading. I gotta up I'll probably gotta have to build some more houses, upgrade. It's going to be a bit of a rinse and repeat, so I'm probably just going to skip through that, and we're going to come back when we are ready to start supplying these investors, and we'll have everything ready to start expanding the city and really start pushing that population up rather, rather quickly. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave me a like and a comment, and I shall see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.